Today I'll be creating a teaser in Studio for an upcoming launch. A teaser page is kind of like the trailer for an upcoming movie. It offers a snapshot or a hint of what's coming. The goal is to provoke curiosity, build anticipation, and ultimately capture leads for whatever it is I'm teasing. Since the goal is to tease an upcoming launch, I don't want to overload the page with too much information. I'm only going to include four elements, starting with a full screen background image that will do most of the heavy lifting in terms of visual engagement. Next, I'm going to add a concise header section. I'll grab my company logo from the asset library, as well as a scroll icon from the media library. Now for some body text. I'll write up a detailed description that gives enough information so that the viewers know what to expect, but without overwhelming them with too much content. I'll use the asset library again to drop a button that is linked to a separate booking page on our website. After all the assets are in place, I'm going to go through and add some subtle animations to polish the experience a little more. As you can see in the published experience, the teaser page is simple and concise, yet still visually engaging. It provides enough information to invite my viewers to act while making it easy to navigate. Since my published experience has a shareable link, I can distribute my teaser however I need. I can share the link in an email or a social post, or even embed the whole experience on another web page. Stay tuned for part 2 where we'll take this experience from a teaser page and turn it into a landing page. And as always, if you have any questions or want to learn more about Saros, be sure to check out educate.saros.com for more resources and tutorials.